Hey guys, it's Jen. I have really had the urge to go through and declutter and organize a lot of areas in my house with it being the new year and it's just fresh start, clean slate. So I am going to start doing different areas of the house and I thought I would bring you along and show you as I work on those areas. Um, it's the time that between New Year and the spring when baseball season starts that I have a little bit of extra time to put towards special projects. So I'm gonna try to knock all these things out uh, before it starts getting busy again with baseball season. It's not easy for me to record everything and always have my camera out for every step of the way because most of my projects that take more than, you know, 30 to 45 minutes are all done whenever I have the chance to do them. I can rarely sit down and spend three or four hours on something and have a task from start to finish in one day. It's just really not possible for me with running the kids back and forth to school and bus stop and it's, it's just a lot with a two-year-old main thing is the two-year-old. Um, it's just hard for me to get things that are more time consuming done. Um, but I'm going to do what I can with recording it and showing it to you guys. And the place that I'm going to start is going to be my clothes. Um, the thing is when we moved into our house almost a year ago, it's almost been a year since we've been into our new house. Um, everything is still not done in the new house. Um, but we're slowly working on it all when we can. Um, I, when we moved, I did get rid of a bunch of clothes. Um, so I'm not going to have that much probably, I don't know. We'll see, but I, I don't feel like I'm going to have that much to get rid of because I did it just a year ago and got rid of quite a bit then, like a lot. I got rid of a lot then. Um, so we'll see. I do feel like there are some things that I can still get rid of that you hold on to just in case. Um, so if I have not worn or used something in the year that we've been in this house, it's going. Um, I just need to, I don't know, just get rid of the things that are just taking up space just to take up space. Um, in our closet, um, I'll show it to you in just a minute, but we um, did like pre-made kind of built-ins, I guess is what you want to call it, from Lowe's. And I have my side, my husband has his side. Um, it's still a work in progress on what we really want to have done in the closet, but that's going to be later down the road. Um, so we're just going to kind of organize it to what we have right now. So if you like these kind of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you are new, um, some other areas that I know that I'm going to be working on, um, I actually did the playroom this past Friday. So a few days ago I did the playroom and it was just on a whim and I didn't record any of it but I got rid of like two big totes full of toys and just kind of reorganized it all. I still need to do a couple of things in there but it felt good to have the playroom kind of manageable again since Christmas and the new stuff and getting rid of some of the old that really needed to be done. So I did it kind of last minute didn't really plan on it on that day kind of thing so I didn't record it. Um, but I do need to do the closet that is right by the playroom under the stairs. Um, that houses a lot of the arts and crafts and kids activities and just kind of extra stuff. And you can't even walk in that closet now because the kids grab stuff out and it's like falling off the shelves. New Christmas gifts that are like the arts and crafts kind of stuff have just been tossed in there. Um, stuff just kind of get out of the way when you have someone coming over, that kind of thing. That's that closet. So that's one of the main things that I need to work on. Um, and I'm going to do each of the kids closets as well. And we actually haven't even built the, um, shelves or the racks for Colton's closet, our youngest, our two year olds. And so that's actually going to be done this week. We're going to finish building his closet and then we got him a new chest of drawers. So I'm going to be organizing his closet, which I'm really excited about. He's never actually had a closet. Um, when he was first born, we had just an armoire with, I don't know, I have a video up on my channel of my nursery tour, um, but we were only in that house for a couple weeks and then we moved. Um, 
he did have a closet in that house, but he never had a chest of drawers or anything to put his clothes in besides the little plastic bins that we put in his closet. And that's still what we've been using now, along with a temporary closet, like rolling closet rod thing. <laughs> so I'm excited to actually have him a closet and to be able to get that organized. But yeah, I'm going to be doing my clothes, the kids' closets, um, the stairs closet. I mean, I really pretty much did things in my kitchen when I moved in. So I really don't feel like there's a lot to get done in the kitchen, but I do need to, um, clear out and reorganize my pantry. And I'll do a video on that. Um, now my spare room craft room, which will actually be turning into becoming my husband's office soon too because he's going to be working more from home um i have a lot of work to do in that room and it's going to be a long process so i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to record every step of the way but i can definitely show a before and after so i just really want to declutter and simplify a lot of things um in the house right now and another main thing would be my desk area and the filing cabinet i need to kind of purge the filing cabinet and cycle through it's a new year and there's just a lot of things my to-do list is really long with the decluttering and organizing kind of stuff so if that's something you're interested to see just make sure that you're subscribed and you hit that bell so you have the notifications and don't miss the videos but i'm going to go ahead and show you my closet real quick and see what we're starting with so our closet is off of the bathroom and it has this big window here um, but to the left is my side of the closet um, straight ahead when you walk in we have our laundry sorter right here and like I said it's Monday all the laundry's done so there's nothing in there we still have suitcases out from our little vacation that we just went over at the beginning of January shoes and scarfs I mean it's just everywhere right here this is a basket that I bought to that you can add to these little closet tower things and I still haven't done that and I've had that for months because I just don't really know exactly what I want to do in here yet um, but this is my side of the closet it's just really things have been basically just thrown in here since we moved into this house um, it was kind of the least of my concerns. I mean, it was kind of organized and it just got bad here over Christmas and the holidays and everything. Um, yeah. So this is just, if anyone's interested, these shelving units are from the Allen and Roth brand at Lowe's. It comes with the tower and then some rods and shelving. And then we bought additional, um, shelves and rods, but that's what we have. This over here is my jewelry box. I really, really need to go through that. And it's really unorganized too. So I need to go through the jewelry box. I actually debated on getting rid of the jewelry box and just putting jewelry on this thing, but I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that yet. But I also thought about just keeping that because it's kind of, you can't really put anything else right there. So I thought about just keeping it there and maybe chalk painting it a pretty color or something. Cause I don't really like that brown color, but that's going to be later down the road. I just need to clean it out first. So anyways, I have tanks and short sleeve shirts and some more dressier kind of tanks and short sleeves. Over here to the left are jeans and pants. And these over here are long sleeves and cardigans. Over here are dresses. And then just a bunch of stuff that's just everywhere. Yeah, it stresses me out. So I just, you know. Up here, honestly, I think that bag back there is a bunch of Disney stuff. There's the Disney popcorn container up there too. So it all just needs to be gone through and organized. And so I'm gonna start just grabbing everything out and going through it. Now, as far as my folding clothes, this is my dresser right here. And I have all of my clothes in there. So. I'll start, I mean, overall, I think it's pretty organized. I mean, I don't think it's too bad, but there's still probably stuff that I need to get rid of. I mean, there's just a bunch of swimsuits in that one, but I don't know. We'll just take it all out and go through it and see what we end up. I can probably get rid of some shorts. Um, see what we end up with.
So there we have all of the clothes out of my closet. They're just all there. So this big pile right here is everything that I am getting rid of and that's the pile over there that will go in the trash but these yeah I got rid of a lot more than what I thought I would um, and it feels good I've got all the stuff back in my drawers and then I'm going to get this stuff here on the bed, these are the only things that I have left. Just these two stacks here. All these hangers are from all the stuff that I have over there in the pile to get rid of. So, yeah. I have all the drawers and everything folded and <clears throat> everything organized in there. I just need to get these back in the closet and organize the closet. All right, guys, I have all of my stuff gone through everything off the shelves and I wiped all of the shelves down and I am going to start putting everything back in and organizing it all. Um, I'm going to have to quit for now, so it'll be a little bit before I can show you the finished product here, but I do want to get that mirror hung on the back of that little um, shelving tower. but. Yeah, I'm excited, it's feeling good. I got all the clothes gone through and I have a ton to get rid of. So I have finally finished all of my clothes and organizing my drawers and my closet and I'm gonna show you what the finished product looks like. I am going to start on my dresser here. So this is mine, I already showed you the before of the drawers and everything. If you're wondering, these are little um, candle things that will be hung on each side of the TV that have just, they've been sitting there forever and we still haven't hung them, <laughs> but that is on the to-do list. Um, but right here, I mean, I'm not just gonna open that and show you all that, but that's just my underwear. And this are some bras and these are socks. Um, we actually keep the majority of our socks in our mudroom, we each have drawers in there. So in my room, are basically just my comfy socks, lounging socks. My son got me these for Christmas and he was super proud. Um, but these are just comfy socks and some Christmas socks, you know, all that kind of stuff. But my normal everyday socks are in the mudroom. This drawer has pajamas. So I have some shirts back here. These are nightgowns and these are pants and sets with pants. Um, so that's all the pajamas. This drawer was kind of full and cluttered before and I didn't even wear quite a bit of them. Um, so that drawer is a lot, a lot better. The next drawer has t-shirts and tanks and all of that over here are my tanks that I wear under shirts and right here are some workout tanks and these are just some t-shirts that I don't wear often um, but just t-shirts down here are swimsuits and swimsuit cover-ups I did get rid of quite a few swimsuits um, but I mean we do wear swimsuits a lot um, so just some swim shorts here and then some cover-ups so they're the swimsuits over here we have shorts and this drawer is 
so much better. It was, I mean, there were so many shorts in here that I haven't worn in a while that just don't fit anymore. So over here, I have athletic type of shorts. And over on this side are just regular shorts, some denim shorts, and then some salad shorts, and then just some fun ones over here. So those are shorts. And then next down, I have like athletic pants, capris that are over here. And then over here are leggings and some like comfier pants back here. Um, but yeah, those are basically just leggings. Bottom drawer is kind of an empty one. I have, these are basically like my get dirty type of clothes. <laughs> um, you can see, oh, I thought you could see, they um, have paint on them. They're usually my painting clothes or like work in the yard, you know, can get dirty type of clothes. And then just some belts and it's just extra little, I think those are some pashminas right there. Um, just some kind of extras down there. Here we are in my closet and I absolutely love the way that it's turned out. Um, some of the things I was gonna wait to do, but I just went ahead and did it just because once you start working on something, you just want it to be like your vision that you've wanted. There is one thing that I'll show you that I do have planned to do that's not yet done yet, um, but it's not a huge deal. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I have my closet organized. Okay, so this is walking into my closet. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. It just feels so nice and clean and just makes me happy when I walk into my closet now. Okay, so what I did in here was for the top, I got these baskets right here. I think from Michaels and I just have in this one I believe I have some smaller bags in that and then there's a couple more bags over there and then right here has all of our Disney stuff and park gear travel kind of stuff up there and I also went ahead and got the additional drawers for this tower here um, from Lowe's. So I just love the way that that kind of just rounded out that little area for more organizing and just, I just think it looks nice. So for the way that I've organized my clothes, I still have my dresses over here. I got rid of a lot of dresses, a lot of dresses. Um, but I just have them not really color coded, but just kind of with sleeveless to sleeves and some long sleeves. Um, can't really do the whole color thing on dresses, but those are the dresses that I have left. Over here on the left side, I have some pullovers and sweater kind of things, and then my pants right there. And down here on the bottom, back here, I have some that starts with the long sleeves and kind of just goes this way and right here I have some cardigans um, they're not really done in any specific order really um, that one got kind of messed up there um, I just have like my button-ups and then just like regular shirts and you know so nothing too special over there but those are just long sleeves and cardigans up here on the top right are tanks and some of them are athletic tanks the one here on the left they're more workout you know wear around the house athletic kind of tanks and then back here are dressier tanks and i do have each of those kind of somewhat color coded and the bottom right are like my short sleeves um, and they are color coded from light to dark there um, so yeah, I just think it just looks so nice when you just walk in and it's just, it's not stuffed to the max where you can't see what you have. And then I just like the look of being somewhat color coded. I've always kind of done that in my closets, but I still like to have them broke down with like styles. 
Um, so that's how I do that. Up here I have some of my sun hats, hats and stuff. And right here, I just love the way that this turned out. It's something that I've envisioned for a really long time. It just took me a long time to actually do it. Um, but I got the mirror hung right here. And you can see my husband's side on the other side that has not been done yet. Um, but that is on the list to do as well as do his side of the closet. Um, but I got the mirror hung and then I got this little vase from Home Centric and the little flowers to go in that from Joann's. I got this little sign here. It says expect nothing and appreciate everything. And then I also put a picture of my husband and I from our 10 year anniversary trip to Hawaii. And then just a little plant here. But I just like the picture because it just makes me happy and smile and just think of like how much fun we had in Hawaii and just to kind of celebrate us. And it's just, I don't know, it just makes me happy. And then I have the drawers here. The top drawer has the bras that I wear on a regular basis because I do get dressed and undressed in my closet. And it's nice just to have those right there. The second drawer has scarves and gloves and I don't really, you know, we don't have too much cold weather here, but I do have, you know, some scarves that and some hats that I will wear, but it's not too often that I am pulling those out. And then the bottom drawer just kind of has um, so we don't have a linen closet in our master bathroom bedroom area. So in here, this is my travel bag that I have all of my travel cosmetics, you know, toiletries in. This is a little heat wrap that you can warm up in the microwave. This is an extra thing of bath salt. And then that's like a little hair accessory thing. So that's just kind of just some extra storage that would go in a linen closet. And then I have some taller boots over here and then my shoes over here. My husband has some shoes in there as well. I did get rid of quite a bit of shoes too, um, but this is just an old shoe rack that I've had for years. And so that's just still in the closet. And then I did add an addition of a rug. And this is actually the same style rug that we have in our master bedroom. Um, but I just wanted a rug in here just to kind of make it feel a little bit cozier. And also since I do get dressed in here and undressed, I don't really like to be barefoot on the cold tile. And it does get pretty cold in my closet in the mornings. So I just wanted something soft to stand on while I am getting dressed. So I like the addition of the rug here and then my jewelry box here my plan is to chalk paint this i think a lighter color of this rug um so that's the thing that i didn't get to yet but that is definitely on my list soon is to chalk paint that because it's just so dark with everything just so light and bright in here I just wanted just to soften it up a little bit and I got some new knobs for it at Hobby Lobby that I'll be putting on it as well. So that is how the closet turned out. I really like the way that it turned out and it just makes me happy just to walk in here and this just be my space. So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed my process of purging and decluttering and organizing my clothes, my drawers and my closet and kind of decorating my closet a little bit. It just, it's made me so excited, just the whole process. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. And it gave you maybe some ideas or motivation to do yours. Uh, but I will see you next time. Bye.